Alright, y'all, what up? Uh, we are back. Me and Josh talking about the brand new Zeal and Our Door album that, as of right now, it dropped yesterday. Uh, it is called Zeal and Our Door. And, man, it is <laughs> so fucking good. This far in, they finally do their own self entitled album. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's weird. Some bands, it'll either be the first, first album, album or third or fourth, or some bands, it'll just be like, all of them, like the first couple Zeppelins and uh, the uh, the all of the Days of the New albums are just Days of the New. Um, but man, oh man, is this new seal in our door fucking good? Holy shit, y'all! Oh man, from the beginning to the very fucking end, I've been a fan of this band um, since right before Stranger Fruit came out. Um, a buddy of mine, Mick, on Facebook had posted like, uh, here's, cause he's, he's, he's just a metal guy. And he mentioned, you know, I'm a straight up metal guy and a band has to have something special for it to not be metal for me to listen to. And Zeal and Ardor was one that was on the list. And I'm like, let me check this out. Cause you know, I, I hope mean, Ghost is on his list too. I think so. Oh, I was going to say, this was several years that's what got me, I was like, wow, for a band that's supposed to be metal, that's not metal, it's very metal. <laughs> and so, uh, I checked out Zealand Art, I was like, man, I was like, whoa. To where the earlier stuff was not as metal as it is now? Because uh, that's I, still very fucking metal. Yeah, yeah, because I mean, that's what I don't understand is like, I, because to me, I was like, this is just metal mixed maybe with he, other stuff. Maybe he may, maybe he goes by a version of metal by the way the person sounds. Well, I, think, I think it's more on the lines of he just listens to metal and doesn't really mess with metal that plays with other genres okay. that isn't metal. So, I was like, I was like, he's not like a, oh, because it's uh, Metallica, so metal. Yeah, no, 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 no. That's your dad metal. <laughs> Uh, but man, and was I blown away? It was, um, it was, uh, fuck, man, it was. Devil is fine. Where's the song? And God, a good God is the dead one. A good God is the one that brings the fire. A good God is the dark one. A good God is the dark one. That's, that that's blood, the fire. blood in the river, or blood on the river. No, blood on the river is the river bed will run red with the blood of the saints and the blood. Man, yeah. God, I fucking love Zeal and Ardor, man. The, because I love, um, I love old African American music, man. And uh, for a guy to throw that into black metal and Come on, that is Blood River. Oh, it is Blood River. I'm that's sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> he said a devil in the film. I'm like, well, that's the first song. Uh, I'm saying, uh, you're the one who brings the fire. Yeah, man. That's the only thing I really uh, want to do out of here. Play, uh, play Devil is Fine real quick, dude. Yeah, that's, 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 that's all right. Devil is Fine. There it is. I want. That's very uh, changing. I'm sorry, y'all. I'm sorry, y'all. It's, it's okay. Just, He's been drinking. I, I get I get excited with this band. I really I, do. I do. Well, it's, man. it's the same reason why I like the new album for how it is, but it's not that. I love that. That shit. That Devil is Fine. Blood in the River and Ghost Ship are fucking fantastic. But that shit, that shit is on I this know, level. it's just not at the level, like, that's a whole song of these ones. They're like, ah, oh, so, it wraps me in a warm blanket of chain gangy sounding music and metal. It's yeah, amazing. Man, God, so good, such a, and <laughs> man, like, to me, and I've been saying this for a couple, several years now, Zealand Ardor is one of my favorite bands in metal right now, and this album still has me saying this. Uh, and then there are other bands that are doing similar things, uh, especially in the black metal scene, that to me are making black metal um, more interesting, because I love black metal, but I mean, for me to be real, it's, it's, it, is, it can be hard to listen to sometimes. I gotta be in the mood. You know, and most of the time, I'm, I'm messing with Cradle of Filth or Demi Borger because uh, it has different elements in yeah. there, you know? And it's like, I want black metal. Eh. 
Demi Burger it is. <laughs> right, because I'm like, you know, it's like I need I need a I need a little something different in it with because I will get bored. I, let's face it, I will get bored. And then there's other there's it's there's a lot of stuff happening now like Wolves in the Throne Room, fantastic black metal band. If you like the atmospheric side of black metal, Wolves in the Throne Room, man, they fucking got your back. Uh, another one, uh, Batushka, uh, just making, uh, with the, with the, like, monk chants and stuff, God, it's so good, and then one band I found last year, uh, Untamed Land, where they mix western fucking music with the black metal, where a minute it'll just sound like good-ass black metal, then it'll go into, like, banjos and and uh fucking what yeah dude oh man and it is it'll sound like the good the bad ah, the ugly i just picture that snowy landscape these guys in corpse paint and they got banjo right <laughs> holy shit balls. Like, dude <laughs> uh, it, it'll go to like a jug band kind of sound for a second but dude that's crazy yeah dude it's like it's like <laughs> kind of shit you know like good the bad the ugly kind of shit and then it goes to black metal so oh, good. the stereotypical what the people on like other side of the world think the West, the America is like that. Oh, you John Wayne, big <laughs> yeah, the bonanza bullshit. So that's Man, like, they so picture good. us as Western. Yeah, there you go. The fucking it's like it's like God this is damn, what their Western music is. There it's it goes. Mayhem meets bonanza. <laughs> Oh man! Dude, oh my God, that's amazing. It's goddamn fucking. Yeah. Somebody needs to Photoshop corpse paint onto a cutscene from Bonanza. That'd be amazing. <laughs> it's goddamn. Uh, it's motherfucking. Uh, Have you ever watched that? I vaguely remember seeing I've like seen some it. of it as a kid. You know, as a kid, I've seen it. I've seen that. I've seen Lonesome Dove as a kid. Murder. Um, she wrote. She's thinking like. What did my? I remember like going to my grandparents' house and that. You know, the only weird. thing from Murder She Wrote I ever saw was the opening because I had never watched an episode. Yeah, the type of song shit, and the, the shit, shit flying around. Yeah, but I was like, yeah, I don't know what this is. I'm, I'm gonna, gonna go play it. with my fucking Legos. Yeah, I'm gonna go play with my wiener now. I've got nothing else to do. Um, yeah, that's the only toy Travis has a kid. His own dick. <laughs> you know, we, we were poor. Yes. <laughs> he gotta, pulled it out. You gotta, <laughs> you gotta <laughs> make your own entertainment. Uh, but yeah, there's a lot of cool stuff happening in Black Metal, I and mean, one of my all-time favorites uh, is uh, Imperial Triumphant with, man, it's basically Black Metal by way of jazz, and oh, it's so good, it is so good, and Zeal and Ardor, jazz, man. still, well, I mean, it's not like... I, I know, I know, I love to, we've already went over that before, yeah, yeah. I mean, it was weird, uh, it was interesting. Oh, man, but yeah, Zeal and Ardor is like top of the list for me as far as uh, some of the best shit happening with... Uh, Heavy metal and black metal music right Just now. Something in the metal where it's different. Yeah, it is man. so much different to see uh, you know that that soul that slave soul sound. Uh, my, my words are starting to slur. That uh, slave soul sound that chain get that gang chain kind gang of stuff. just Old. a. Like what with church blues, blues that, that yeah, really Delta just blues Delta and, blues just man, it's just so good. Turned man. into metal. Oh, it's so good. I mean, hell, it was good enough. Like, a Blood in the River was actually in a Call of Duty commercial. Was it? Yes. Wow. I remember it because I was like, whoa, that's a, dude, that's still in our door. Because they're doing the whole, you know, the blood of that, that whole scene. I was like, wow. And they got, like, people killing each other. I'm like, yeah, yeah, it's about right. Even and though that's the whole, whole album's just, you know, it's satanic as you can possibly be because it really is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I, I love his idea. His idea is, uh, let's say that. The slaves found Satan instead of uh, the Lord, and I get it. It's 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 you church see, hymn music you just see for a, the devil. You just see a Satan. Uh, you'd see a, a church, a bunch of you know black parishioner, you know black parishioners in there, and they're worshiping the devil. Like wow, like, like Presbyterian meets Satanism. Yeah, yeah, yeah there you go. And <laughs> man, snakes and there's you know, you got snakes and yeah, all that bullshit talking to hands. Talking in hands, speaking in tongues. Oh, I guess a blind person would be talking in hands. This a deaf person. This man said a blind person would be talking in hands. Well, yeah, he is. Touch Braille. He'd be talking in bumps. Reading in bumps. As the night gets longer, we get drunker and. More inebriated. Yeah. Oh man, but oh, this album, this album is a, is 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 great because look, it really is. It's 
metal goes, yeah, it's actually really good. I like it. The oh, metal man. is so brutal on this album. Oh, yeah, it's then, just black metal screamy. It, it's like, the yeah, screams I'm, are like getting better. He is, man. He, he's got Norwegian, Swedish black metal fucking guys. Like, yeah, he's got that skill level. He just starts, he starts to scream in just a, a snowy background, black and white God. corpse face. His hair's in the wind and big old fucking broadsword in his hand and some God. bullshit. And that fucking shit's getting fucking good. It's brutal. And what I loved about uh, this is the fact that, man, you can headbang to this shit, but you can also go like this. You know what I'm saying? Oh, like, yeah. You can just got the, you know, you just stomp I can't remember clap. Which, I can't remember which one. There was one that's actually got claps in the song. Yeah. yeah that's fucking oh, good. I can't remember the name so of the song. That one. fucking good, dude. Oh, I love it. Every fucking Because it's only been out for a fucking day, so there's only three off the bat that day. I know I'd like because I remember the oh, name. That's Bow. Oh, a Gutterdongen, whatever <laughs> bullshit that. <laughs> and uh, oh, let me see. It is so hard to read. Um, Bow. Gutterdamerung. Damerung. And uh, and uh, church burn. Church burn. Like man. three off the bat. That he's just like wow. Ah, uh, feed the machine. Feed the machine. Is it? My only way. I, I just you know, cause Travis loves it. Like to me, I just to me, I think it needed more of the chain gang sound like the other ones did. This one had. More, it was more on the metal side, which was still perfect. It was on par. It was perfect. What I think is great is it, to me, it, it balances it, it, it all. It does. So it's so much more good. balanced, but I just really love the... And then there's so, the, there's so much different other stuff in there added as well, like the Western, uh, the Western yeah. vibe on um, Golden Liar. God, Golden Liar oh, yeah, is I mean, so it, good. It is. It's, I just, oh. I really fell in love with their, uh, that really... Just, Southerny, bluesy, mm -hmm. soul chain gang sound from the previous album. Because that was the first album I heard by them. You showed it to me. I fell in love with that. So with this one, it didn't. It wasn't as pronounced as it was in the previous one. I'm like, Ugh. but it was still on part. It's just as met as far as metal. It still is very fucking and good. That's what I love is the fact the that the guitars are clean. Oh, the fucking yeah. the this fucking his scream, so his guttural when he does his guttural singing. I mean, it has like the fucking, you just that really, that fucking, I'm a velociraptor, I'm singing a fucking song bullshit sound thing going on. North it is fucking north. Yeah, yeah, it's it's so fucking good. I love it. I just watched, I wanted more chain gang thing, but it still was good. Cause I, was, I was hoping for more chain gang thing, but it wasn't, it was more balanced and spread out. Cause the genres were a little bit different mixed in this yeah, one. This one had a lot of different genres. Oh, it's in it. so good. Like, cause what I love is we still get the chain gang stuff. I mean, it's not all over the, the album. Yeah, it's, it's in a it's in a it's good like it's like part of the core. Of the it's part of the uh, chorus or the bridge, but it's not the like, or it'll be song. part of like the main verse. Yeah, and then go to like a heavy metal part or it, it changes its style. Of, yeah, each song yeah, changes yeah. style. To me, twice. I think it like. They really perfected that. And they sound, absolutely. Man. I was just, I was going into wanting more of this, that fucking chain because, like I said, those songs the th uh, from uh, the three where I was already described, I just love them. You just like you just picture and just just stomp know, with your dude, fucking foot know, and it's man. just fucking like just throwing being the horns of devil and shit. Just being in an old fucking, dusty church, man. You know, that, so, so, that fucking painful fucking feeling of sweat and depression. And just, oh yeah, that deep fucking south like Mississippi, Georgia <laughs> bullshit. It's oh, fucking amazing. Man. But and metal, then, it's still a great, this is still a phenomenal metal album. It's probably, I would say, just because you know it's only February, the best fucking metal album this year. It's technically. It's, it's gonna be hard to beat this. It's gonna be hard to beat it. Unless it's gonna be hard to top this album. I haven't looked at what's coming and out this so year. It's so early in the year, and man, yeah, it's like right off the bat. Just right just off the bat, we're coming and swinging. Swing. It came. It came in hard. It's just. Oh yeah, it came in hard. And then, like, what I love is like, all right, the first two, the like, uh, Devil is Fine, brought you this new idea. And then Stranger Fruit yeah, to it, me it actually eases you into that. Yeah, yeah, because it's so the first short. Song, it's like twenty five minutes. It was a softer minutes. one because, like, by the time you get down to like, said Blood on the River and shit, they get dark and it just mm. gets harder. And, and, more and then metal. there's like these weird little electronica songs, uh, the Sacrilegium songs, and then Stranger Fruit pretty much does what Devil Is Fine does, but better. Perfected the shit out of what they were doing on Devil Is Fine. I mean, oh, yeah. all the way through. A little more this atmosphere. Is like, uh, it's like if Ghost was more metal. 
<laughs> they, they got this, the satanic part of it is, is spot on. I mean, no matter how you want it, it's like, it's not, it's there. And you can feel it, you can see like, wow, the, lyrically it sounds very satanic, but it's not written as, a, it's, lyrically it doesn't sound satanic. You're not really doing the whole thing. Oh, crazy. it's definitely satanic. I mean, but you can feel it. It's more of a feeling. You just feel it. It is a feeling. There is dark. A good, nice, satanic feel to that vibe. The, it's and so, it's so <laughs> dark and, you know, it, it feels there. But it's not, it's not overt. I like how, it, to me, it didn't feel overt. Well, death to the holy. Death to the holy. Well, that's what like, I'm saying. Like, on fucking blood, that's why the previous one, like, you're talking about literally the blood of fucking holy, saints and the holy are mm. fucking being run. The riverbed will run red with the blood of the saints and the blood of the holy. And God, you can't be man. in your car because you're going to fucking just, you want to sing that with I it. Know, dude, so, I know, I heard my, my, this is the thing, that's how you can tell we're getting old. I did that fucking Cause I can do that that deep churchy kind of that like he does his voice and I hurt my fucking back my neck right there for doing it. Cause you gotta you gotta kind of relax your shoulders. Cause that needs a deep kind of opening of your chest just to get that fucking that church sound. And it's such a good fucking vibe and it yeah. feels good. And of course I woke up today I'm like ow. <laughs> There's a song on here, man. Um, <clears throat> I believe yeah it's immersion. Man, is that phenomenal it's pretty much an instrumental but it starts off and you think it's gonna be like a very happy sounding edm track right and then <laughs> but what i love is you've got this beautiful melody right here and then this just loud guitar and screaming coming right on it and you've got this contrast of beautiful happy melody crazy wild heavy shit and it's just it's almost like all right you see like a uh, uh let's like a dragon ball z cartoon like i throw my fireball you throw your fireball yeah, and they're, they, they're pushing they're, each other against yeah it's like it's like that man in a song and it's so fucking cool because it'll be like happy well, metal melody and then no oh, heavy ass fucking screaming you know something about the way the metal part of it, it each one is almost exactly the same as the previous one of the old songs but they blend it so they well. Do, man. It's because their metal, it's their so metal is so here. Their metal is so, I would say it's not basic in terms of. I, just, I mean, it's the most cliche version of black metal sounding, but it's, it's it flows so well into the fucking you know the poppy, the brighter when they change the st uh, style and tempo that you don't even realize it's like the same metal. Then it's just like you said, it's pushing against all the other yeah, things. Man. I was like, but it sounds so good. It's it like, so seamless their transitions, and that's that's what I love about this band is like you. It's like, so they technically got so much better since the last one. Oh man, yeah, they, they're, they're, they're really taking have. black metal, which I love, but like I said, I get bored with it when it's just straight black metal. And they are, they there's just something different to hear on every song. Every song is. They're bringing it back to God. America. Americans make the best black metal. They now. are, man. They are fucking. They are doing it. You know, like here. like when fucking uh, they did it on Death Clock when they went to the fucking South when you learned the blues. That's the most fucking brutal shit ever. Death Clock's got the blues. And that is the most brutal. Living in the South is one of the most brutal things you can fucking do. And then hold your head low, man. Oh, that one's so good with the goddamn that soul kind of music, man, in there and. The guitar is so good. I love the guitar sound on, on there. Like I, you get you get Tom Waitsy vibes, you get Nick Cave vibes, but then you also you also get like your 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 goddamn Norwegian y black metal oh, yeah. stuff. Oh, you God. just picture like it's a Norwegian black metal band every time they go in the metal part. But every other part just has you just picture different versions like the South and all these bands, these fucking oh and but it's still very. It always still always seems to have like this very black Southern church the, feel the, to the, it. The way I one thing I love about their uh, their hymn style vocals is they do it with such dissonance uh, that it makes it sound darker, uh, so dark, man. Oh yeah, because it, it's it's so it sounds like proper how you would sing, you know. In the church, it very the music is your voice. But with it, it being sounds those so good. But the chords, it man. just and it gets a dark sound to yeah, it. It's just man. it's perfectly oh, opposite of how it should normally sound with a hymn. I the know, hymnal sound has a bright, beautiful. This one's so perfect. So I mean, it matches identically. You know, it's mirrored to the hymnal version when you got this fucking 
just this, like you said, off chord. It's like it doesn't yeah. sound right, and it's just it's like so it just sounds good. sinister, man. It just sounds like oh. an evil fucking you know that fucking evil church music. Just yeah, that, dude. Just fucking family opera style. Damn, it's like perfectly, perfectly done. So perfectly done, man. It what is. a what a phenomenal goddamn group. Um, but uh, I mean. And what's crazy to me, like, the most metal song all the way through on here is Run. And that was the first single released many fucking months ago. And I was like, damn. For this to be, like, in a way, probably the most straightforward song I've ever heard these dudes do. I was like, this is some brutal shit. <laughs> crazy was the last songs. Um, yeah, those I, two right there. J and B and A H I L. What the hell is supposed to stand for? No clue. Because I'm mean, listening. I'm like, this shit's fucking brutal. It's fucking awesome. This last one, I was like, it's like they're just doing some experimental and the, that cover. So that's what's so cool about that. Is that it's so innocuous. No, you wouldn't know what the fuck that means. But that is the fucking the hands, the hands. Maybe that, Baphomet. The Baphomet hands. So he's doing it on the Baphomet car, you know. And then I was like, wow, that is fucking awesome. And uh, I mean, it's, it's being, I, I love that uh, because they also did that with uh, uh, on Wake of a Nation with the police batons and the inverted cross. Like, man, it's so good. But when I heard that, I was like, damn. You know, it made me it made me be like, all right, so this album is not going to be um, straight up. This album's going to be something different, and it's going to be something special. Because Wake of the Nation, man, when it dropped um, in twenty twenty. Like, it did the Zeal and Ardor thing, but there was, like, some black gaze in there and um, just straight up, uh, almost, um, is, which one is it that uh, just samples all of the uh, the uh, protests and stuff? Was it the I Can't Breathe track? Um, man. Mm. Oh, man. I don't but know right now. When I heard Too the me. when I heard the Wake of a Nation EP, I was like, "This band is fucking doing things, man, and they are saying things." Cause like, it's very good. They're it's like you know experimental, but in metal form. Yeah, and the fir the first two albums were 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 saying satanic things, and then Wake of a Nation was like saying right now things, you know, like topical things. And uh, this one's kind of going back to satanic-y things. And so I'm glad that I don't know, everything I absolutely love about this band is in this album all the way through. And a lot of new things that I love about this band. They are, they are my, one of my favorite bands in metal right now. Um, it's absolutely uh, it's a different sound. That, and like I said, it's very experimental. I mean, because, I mean... You get a lot of kind of bluesy sounding bands, and you don't, there's not, as far as metal's concerned, it's most, the closest thing you tend to get is like that southern metal sound, which is just a continuation of that, like the Leonard Skinner, yeah, you know, the fuck, just Molly Hatchet, and all the way through the southern, like Metallica, and you get these southern style, but you don't have any really good kind of that, that deep down blues metal bands that you, uh, you know, well, like how they are, it's just that really just in in depth, deep in the South metal. Like you'd imagine that you know some fucking garage band in the middle of fucking bumfuck Egypt of Mississippi or something fucking most Creole fucking nation area you could possibly think of, and that that's what kind of you that's what you get. You get this is really just angsty, just years of pent up aggression, just churchy fucking. Jeepers Creepers bullshit fucking uh, <laughs> metal. It's, it sounds good. I, I mean, I really love it. It's very unique sound. That's why, like I said, that's the only reason it wasn't like, oh, I was disappointed just because I wanted more of the, the, like, the whole stompy, just one long song done in style of like that kind of a church hymnal fucking satanic style. But it's still, like I said, it was perfect because it blended it that with more metal, with all kinds of weird genre. I mean, you get that loungy sound going on there. It's like, wow. Because even like on the first album, uh, Devil Is Fine, that last track, uh, What's a Killer Like You Gonna Do, uh, or whatever, 
That sounds like it's Tom Waits' song. That yeah. guitar on that sounds like when Keith Richards plays guitar for fucking Tom Waits. Uh, and it, to me, is the most different thing on that album next to the Sacrilegium uh, yeah, the, the little the tracks. Interlude, yeah, the little interlude tracks. thingies. Yeah, those um, were completely, they, they stood up drastically. Yeah, they sound like beautiful ice cream truck music. Or it's like the interlude parts on fucking like some of the ghost albums where it's like, <laughs> yeah, man. It's like little weird interlude song music. But yeah, it stood out greatly versus that whole kind of just vocal, churchy, hymnal sound. Mm-hmm. And so that showed that they could mix more than um, just the churchy music with uh, their style uh, right well, from the yeah. get-go. Oh, absolutely, because, I mean, like you said, it's easy for them to do the whole song in that kind of hymnal, Southern Baptist kind of sound, but then to do it and then be able to blend it, like, halfway through into a, a lounge jazz sounding is, like, it's, it's extremely impressive. And it sounds really good and because it's not jarring at all. It flows. Because sometimes you get something where it's just it's so jarring. It just you can't. You're like, what? It, it, it kind of stops the flow. It's like, whoa, you're not. It's like hitting a brick wall. Yeah, hitting you know? a brick wall, metaphorically speaking. And, man, I, it's just every moment of this album. It is, it's a banger oh, through man. and through. God. There is uh, not a single bad moment. Uh, anywhere on this album's 40 something minutes. God, I just didn't even feel it. See, I listened to it. I felt like I listened to it in a tight one truck ride, but you know, I didn't because it was only 15 minutes. But you know, I listened to it on and off when I went to work, come home, and while I was at work, I said, I'm at desk doing my paperwork. And it, just, it did not feel that long at all. That's, that's the sign of a good album that yeah, is long. All right? uh, and let's say you got a 40-something minute long album and you don't feel the length and you're paying attention to every you're not bit skipping, of it. You're not skipping tracks, mm-hmm. getting through it, yes. It's a, that is the sign of a good fucking album. If we're going to do a rating, band. for me it's 10. 10 all the way. It's 10 over here. 10, because like I said, even though I said it, well, I was expecting something different, I wasn't disappointed in it. Because it, it was different. You know, I was expecting this. I would have loved it, but... What we got was still fucking stellar. Superior, I mean. God I mean, damn. Dude, hopefully the rest of the year turns out this well. It's been a shitty year losing, like, fucking Meatloaf fucking dying. Oh, yeah. And at the same time, it's fucking. It's Bob Saget. Bob Saget possibly being murdered. Who knows? What's oh, yeah, that's odd. Yeah. yeah. Mult, uh, multiple fractures on his skull. I mean, come on, you know. But, we're not conspiracy theorists up here. No, uh, yeah, it's just, it's a damn good album. I mean, damn, one of the best, well, the best metal albums so far this year. Yeah, it's going to be hard to top this for me. As I mean, it, as it's as early, as though, I mean, honestly. Yeah, it's, it's real early. In the, but last year, I found my number one of the year in April. And, Which uh, was that? Huh? What was it? Not saying yet. Not until oh, we do Oh, come on. Not until we do the, Whisper uh, it to me. Uh, I need to whisper me. Oh, wow, that one. Okay. Yeah, <laughs> wow. Found, found my best album of the year in April All right. last year. And it yeah. was... And that was Travis through and through. I can imagine. Yes. Yeah. I remember the text there very well. I'm like, okay. <laughs> yeah, right, I can't spoil it yet, y'all. But, I mean, if, uh, if y'all followed uh, the collection videos and once I got to a certain album that came out in April, that's a hint. Uh, y'all could probably guess what number one is for me, uh, but yeah, it's, and it was it was hard to top that. <laughs> there were a lot of things said about that one, <laughs> and a couple of them got close. I'm not gonna lie, a couple out like the number two and three album, definitely the number two album this year, definitely uh, was close to topping it. But the number one, every time I go back to it, man. Does my thing, but this right here, right now, this is the, my favorite album of the year, and already a lot of my, a lot of, a lot of, a lot of good shits come out. Uh, fucking that new Animal Collective is phenomenal. Me and uh, me and John Short are talking about doing a, a review for that and uh, Animal Collective retrospective eventually. 
<coughs> Still, well, let me know when you do that. Maybe I'll come join you. I like Animal Collective. Oh yeah, right on, right on. Yeah, yeah I forgot that it's coming out. That's right. Yeah. Um, so yeah, we'll do that. Uh, we'll get you in on it. Uh, the album's good, and we'll get you on the retro if you want to be. Uh, so you'd have to listen to all their all their shit. Animal um, Collective. But uh, so like, wow, it's crazy they're still around. Yeah, I mean, you knew it. You yeah, knew I mean, they still be around. This is the first one in a... It's just interesting that some of these bands we really liked are still alive to this day. You know, the sex, drugs, and rock and roll didn't kill them off like some of like, some of our favorites, like, you know, Kurt Cobain and whatnot, you know. Obviously. This is the first one since 2012 to feature all four members. Because they always, they always, like, they'll do an album, but, like, one dude might not be ready. He's like, go ahead and make the album, man. I got other things to yeah. do. You know, which is cool. It's like it's not like a oh I quit the band kind of thing. It's like well, we we use who's nah, available. Yeah, I can imagine they just kind of came and went while they're doing things and they're yeah, like yeah. It's like dude, I'm working on solo stuff or I'm dealing with family kinda stuff. Kind of like Smashing Pumpkins. But if y'all want to make a new album, go ahead. Which is really cool. That's a cool vibe to have. And so whenever it's the four main fucking yeah. members, Av Tear, uh, goddamn Panda Bear, Geologist, and. Uh, Deacon, whenever it's those four guys, like, I'm always fucking here for it. Um, but, yeah, so a lot of good shit's already dropped this year, man. Um, what has dropped this year? Um, I don't know. I've been at least as far as the stuff that I listen to. Um, <clears throat> we have... Um, dun, 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 dun. So, okay. Um, Jethro Toll, Animal Collective. The guy's still Korn. alive. Yeah, man. What the fuck? That album was pretty good, dude. Like, it was pretty good. Metal winner of them. How the hell the guy on the flute fucking wins the most fucking metal album? That's yeah, amazing. That, that definitely, uh. That was a long time ago. <laughs> that was, but shit. I mean, that still comes up. Like, wow. But. That should be the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame for that shit. <laughs> but yeah, y'all, 10 all the way through. Um, highly recommend this band. If you're not on them yet, jump on them. Uh, if, any of that if any of what we mentioned interests you, jump on these motherfuckers. They are rad as all hell. Um, and I guess we'll see y'all later. Because next week we're going to try and do the new Corn Review. And then David's going to do his top albums. Anyway, so we'll see you guys on the next um, whatever. show, whatever we call this. It used to be called First Listen, but I just kind of dropped the titles. Um, we'll see you guys on the next show. That's what we'll call it. We'll call it show. And welcome to show. <laughs> just hang out with my friends and drink and relax. Yeah.